So if you're looking for some type of blower to help you dry your vehicle, whether just partial parts of your vehicle, maybe the emblems, maybe the mirrors, or you're looking for something to completely dry your vehicle to have a more touchless drying process, then this video will be for you because I'll be reviewing the Works Turbine 600, I think that's what it's called, uh, leaf blower to help you dry your vehicle. Now, I'm not gonna get too technical, or actually not technical at all in this video. I've been using it for about two-ish months now. I've worked on it with plenty of vehicles and I just wanna give you my overall feedback, experience, opinions, and recommendations towards whether you should purchase this or not and is it actually gonna help you dry your vehicle in a more efficient manner compared to other tools out there on the market. So I do have a few notes here, so I'll just be kind of referencing, referencing this just to make sure I keep track. Um, so these are no particular order. Don't think this one, the first one's more important than the last one. I'm just telling them as, they, as I wrote them down. Uh, so for starters, if you do have, if you, main, if you work with already well-maintained vehicles, meaning that it's already been at least waxed, you know, wash clay wax, if it's polished already, if there's a coating on the vehicle, then this will be a, like, it would help you out. It's gonna remove a lot of the standing water on the vehicle. You might have to do a few passes around the vehicle, but it definitely will help you in that regard when you're working with an already well-maintained vehicle. On my vehicle, it's not polished, but it is. it does have a very clean surface, meaning I've washed it, I've clayed it, I wash it regularly, so there's not much above surface contaminants on the paint itself. So what on me, even though it's not polished, it's not protected, um, it's still a very clean surface, so it does help me remove a lot of the water. When I work on vehicles that just are trash, have not been washed in a while, have not been clayed in a while, it's still very hard to remove the water from the, from the surfaces. You can still use the blower to blow out the mirrors and the emblems. That, of course, because there's standing water in whatever section you're trying to dry out. But when it comes to actually removing the water off the panels, whether it's vertical or horizontal panels, it does not do a good job. And that's why I've more, because I, the cars I work on, they're not some, you know, they're not already well-maintained vehicles, that they're not there to be show cars, like they're just daily drivers that need a quick wash. And with those, I don't really see myself using this too often, just because it doesn't do that good of a job if it's not already well-maintained. And I can only assume that's gonna be the same premise, even if you use like a Master Blaster or that big boy, um, new tool that's on the market, that green one, where like when you're when you're working with a you know trashed paint, when it's not a clean surface, it's gonna have a hard time pushing that water down because that water is you know technically getting stuck on the panel between all that you know um, dirt or um, you know contaminants that's still on the paint, and it's just having a hard time um, blowing it off. So keep that in mind. Um, next is it is pretty big. I mean like it's not something that you can just put you know underneath your seat or anything. So it is gonna take up a space. And because it's not that effective, I don't really see myself using this long-term anymore. Like right now, I'm using it just because this is still my only option. I had a, um, I think I threw it away, but I had the, um, the Sidekick and it broke on me. So I just figured, I saw a few good reviews from other detailers, let me try it out. And just overall, it's too big. It takes up a lot of space. It's clunky, especially me being a small mobile van. So it just, it's, it's not really, you know, I guess ergonomically fit for my situation. Also, as you're moving along the vehicle, because it's bigger, it is a little, now it's not like 10 pounds heavy. I mean, you can easily lift it up and just do whatever you want with it. But once you're actually moving around the, around, around the vehicle with it, um, you will feel a bit of fatigue in your arms. Just because like, if you're trying to, you know, get on the, if you're trying to get it over the, the, um, the roof or just everything you have to extend your, your arm, then you know, since you're extending yourself more, there's there's more, you know, you don't have as much uh, of a leverage on your arm to hold it up straight. So as you are trying to reach for it, you will, you will see that this, that, that the, you know, 
the extended part of the blower is going to keep on falling down on you. And in that regard, like you have a more, you have a higher risk and I almost dropped my phone. You have a higher risk of maybe scratching a vehicle, not scratching, but at least bumping into it. This is plastic. So it's not going to like just completely scratch it from the, from the get go. But, um, you are more prone to probably hit the paint or the vehicle or lightly tap it because you, you know, when you're trying to overreach, it's going to dip down a little bit and you might tap the vehicle. Um, it's all, it's, it's all basically plastic. There's not much, you know, for $50, which is another good thing is it is only $50. The Master Blaster, I think is like three, 400 bucks. That big boy one is also like two, three, 400 bucks. So, you know, 50 bucks, you know, if you want to try something for $50 and just see how it goes in your situation, then I would definitely be for that because it's $50, right? Like the entry, you know, if you don't like it, it's 50 bucks as compared to if you don't like the Master Blaster or that big boy or other similar products at that same price range. Uh, which is why if you are just starting off and you want to just try something, I would recommend it in that regard because it's just $50. It is very powerful and you know, maybe if you are working on Wilmington vehicles or what have you, then maybe it does fit you in that regard. And it also is very loud because it is very strong. Like if you're just holding it with one hand and you turn it all the way on because it has a adjustable speed dial, I guess. So in the very back it's off. And then you can you know turn it upwards and it'll keep on pushing more power out and if you are just holding it with one hand and you turn it on your arm will be pushed back because of how much air is coming out of the blower so that is good but it's kind of strange because as strong as it is though and it's if i'm working on a vehicle that again hasn't been clayed or polished or anything the water barely moves like it just creates ripples in the water on the panel but nothing actually moves and unfortunately i can't show you because one I only have my vehicle to demonstrate right now. And it's, you know, like I said, it's well maintained. Um, so I can't show you that, but essentially just imagine like you pouring water on something and blowing it and you just see ripples, but the water doesn't really move anywhere. Like it barely moves like an inch and but the water's still there. Plus side, because it's strong, because it's electric, um, if you are gonna do some polishing or work on the interior or maybe just even wash a vehicle, um, if there's dust, dirt, leaves around you, you could like, you will, you know, it's good to work in a clean environment, right? Like around the vehicle. So if you want to, you should turn this on and just blow around the vehicle just to make sure that, you know, no dust and dirt is kicking up if the wind kicks in at some point throughout the detail and getting on the paint or the interior. So it does help in that regard where you can use it just around the vehicle to clean up. And also just as like, because you have it. I've been on, you know, I have customers where like they, they just, they haven't had time to clean up their leaves or whatever. So just because I have the blower there already and just because I'm already in the driveway and I'm the only one there, I'll just like blow the leaves to the side just because I'm already there and it's strong enough to do that in just a few minutes. And I'll just do that just, just to do it. So, you know, that, that's also a, a good plus to it. And like I said, it is very loud when I'm doing the rooftops, I'm not that tall. So, you know, it's, I'm, I'm constantly putting it over my head. But it is very like you don't you wouldn't want to put this close to your um, close to your ears that often because it's it's you know it's recommended that you wear some ear what are they called some earplugs or some you know what I'm talking about to you know just not make so much noise so if you're out there doing a high frequency of, of vehicles and you're using this a lot um, it's I would definitely recommend wearing some ear protection just to reduce the the loud noise um, that you're you know that's right next to your ear. So ultimately, I don't think I'm gonna keep on using it. Um, it they're just, it's too big for my van, it's clunky. Like I, I always have to set it aside for whatever I'm doing. Like if I'm taking the extractor out, like I'm gonna have to move this first because it's in the way of everything. Or when I'm putting it back in the vehicle, I have to make sure I'm moving things around so this fits. Or like when I'm actually using it around the vehicle, like I have to be only using this, right? Because it's electrical. So I'm gonna plug up the electrical cord. I'm gonna be holding it with one hand while still holding the blower on the other. And I wanna make sure like my, the cord is not gonna get caught on a tire or anything. So I'm not gonna get jerked back or anything. So like when you're using it, you're using it all together. And like you're not gonna have another towel in your hand to wipe down the, you know, the, the water that's, that comes out of the, the smaller sections that hold water. Like you're just gonna be use, using this with both hands. And again, like as you're moving it around the vehicle, like you're more prone to kind of tapping the vehicle. I'm not gonna say you're gonna bang it because I mean, you just really gotta be not paying attention if you're gonna bang it, but you're just more prone to just like lightly tapping it um, because of how big it is. So if you're on a budget, if you wanna just get into something that's gonna help you blow out the water, 50 bucks, not a bad deal. I think the uh, Metro Sidekick is still like 80, $90. I think there's an Adams version that's around the same price range. 
Well, I think most of those are around the same price range, like 75, 80, 90 bucks. I could be wrong. So $50, I mean, I think you can even pick these up locally, like at your Sears or something. I ordered it on Amazon, two day shipping. But I mean, it's just something that you can just try out. Not gonna get fully drowned in money. But next one for me, I don't know. It might be the Sidekick again or something similar of that configuration, just from a different brand. Um, but for now, I'll be using it until I get another replacement. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, leave those in the comment section down below and I'll see you on the next one.